This right here is a Mr. Beast chocolate bar. I'm gonna turn it into this Tesla in one week. And this is how I'm gonna do it. Anybody wanna trade anything for this chocolate bar from Mr. Beast? I'll do it. Awesome. Thank you. I want to trade that for a chocolate bar. I want, I want oh, that's cool. And just like that, we got our first trade. And the trade value of the pig is $5. And honestly, I can't believe this is actually kind of working. So make sure you watch to the end to see if I can trade for the Tesla. Does anybody want to trade anything for this, this little pig here? A hat? Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. The trade value of this vintage hat, $25. And right after we made our second successful trade, this happened. Yeah. Do you have a permit to film? Uh, didn't know we need one. You do need YouTube. one, but you can't do any more today, all right? After being kicked off the boardwalk, I had a great solution. Does anybody want to trade this house for this hat? All right, maybe not the greatest solution. Unfortunately, we're getting kicked off the boardwalk because we don't have a permit, but the good news is we do have a hat. Here's the thing, I'm very determined to take this hat and trade it up to something else. Even if I have to step in. Oh! Ugh, I just stepped in. You gotta be kidding me. What person just poops on the sidewalk and doesn't pick it up? Unbelievable, now I gotta clean my shoe. Regardless of, well, you know, my situation, I kept pushing forward to try seeing if somebody would wanna take this hat. So I posted it over on my Twitter and five minutes later, I got a phone call from somebody I knew in real life. So do you got like anything you're willing to trade for this hat at all? I got a I mean, that will work. Can we come over now? Sure. I appreciate it. We'll be there soon. And just like that, we were on our way to go get rid of this hat for something even better that's going to be worth a little bit more money. It's crazy to think just three hours ago, we had a chocolate bar. Now we're about to have a It just shows if you put your mind to it, you can literally do anything you want. Carl, how you doing, friend? Uh, so you're willing to trade that leather glove for a vintage Ron John hat? Guess so. I appreciate it. Well, here you go. And the trade value of the glove, $60. But now it's time to level up with the next trade. Trade you up. I appreciate the trade there, sir. Straight up. This looks nice. like a very expensive paintball gun, so I think we should be able to trade this for something else expensive. And the trade value of the paintball gun, $125. Real quick, though, I see you got hockey nets out. Mm -hmm. Want to play a quick game of pickup hockey? Yeah, sure. I'm actually a pro hockey player. I once played against retired pro players, which then makes me a pro player. Right in. Oh. On day two, I had to unload my car because apparently I'm a hoarder now and I need all the space I could get for the next trade. And on our way to the next trade, we saw an FBI raid, which is a perfect reminder to tell you not to do drugs, but instead subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I literally can't believe we're about to trade the paintball gun for this. I got a paintball gun for you. Ooh, a crib. A crib? A crib. We got a crib. And the trade value of this crib, $300. Elena and I loaded the crib into the car and I immediately thought I might have made a mistake making this trade. But then I got a message telling me to meet someone at this weird location. I don't like this at all. This is like if you're gonna go into a horror movie and just die. That's kind of like the vibe I have right now. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> it's Grim's Toy Show. Welcome. This is all new since the last time you were here. <laughs> oh yeah, there was that one time. There was that one time, I bet you forgot. <laughs> So yeah, um, I got a cradle for you. Maybe if you want to like, I don't know, have a kid or cradle match. <laughs> oh wait, really? <laughs> and there might be a legitimate reason to why Grim wants the crib. Yeah, well, there's there's many uses for a crib. And yeah, you know, we might throw somebody through it. Yeah, that's what we For you. It's this Yoda? Sideshow Baby Yoda. What? Grogu, I'm sorry. This is so cool. And the trade value for Baby Yoda, $450. Now with Baby Yoda in my hands, I had the Force Awaken in me, which meant one thing and one thing only, redemption. This is the GTS championship. This is the GTS. Oh! oh! Not gonna lie, that was the easiest wrestling match of my whole entire career because I am now the two-time champion of the... As I lay dazed and confused, I realized I made a mistake. And that was stepping in the ring and not getting into my car and driving to the big city to make my next trade. Right now, we're about to go make a major, major trade. We're trading Baby Yoda. Well, you'll see in a second. Man, I go for like this or that or that or, oh yeah, is it soccer ball? That could probably trade for a lot of money. Um, you got anything else here? That's I've got something. I think that'll be a better fit than this. Do you wonder what he has right now? Check it out. What is that? Is that a min, 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 min. the Millennium Falcon? That's right, Ultimate Edition. We are literally right now trading Baby Yoda for the. Min, 
I can't even say it. But we're trading for this. This is actually, I can't believe this is happening. Like my mind is just blown with all the trades that we've been making. And to go from this to that is pretty cool. So like, I'll just, well, here, I'll just take it from there. There we go. There yeah, we go. You, you, you right there. That. There we go. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. And the trade value of the Millennium Falcon, $800. And on day three, I ran into a major issue. So I honestly thought of the perfect person to make a trade with for this, but Marquise Brownlee has yet to like respond to any of my tweets. And the thing is, I really want to give this to Marquise because he seems like the kind of dude that likes to collect cool stuff. And now I'm starting to lose hope. There's actually an old saying, and it goes like this. You can hope in one hand and poop in the other, and see which fills up the fastest. It's quite honestly usually the poop. I'm hoping it's the hope that fills up. So yeah, here we are. We just sit and we wait and we wait and we wait and we wait. And after all hope was lost trying to make this trade with Marquise, someone else swooped right in. I see another big box. Have How you been doing? Completely unopened. Never opened once. We're literally right now going from the Millennium Falcon to the Hulkbuster, which is just absolutely wild. Normally we'd go ahead and like pick this up to get a shot, but we just gotta put this back in the box. This is awesome. And the trade value of the deluxe version of Hulkbuster, $1,155. And the reason why he made the trade with me is he wanted the Lego set for his son. And how old is he? Five. Oh, wow, I think he's actually gonna like this. It's yeah, like, oh yeah. if I was a kid and I got this in my mind, I'd be like, wow. This is like the coolest thing ever. And as I struggled carrying this box and trying to get into my car, I realized I had a missed phone call. Hey Emily, it's Um, could you come down to maybe? I think I might have something I want to trade with you. Thanks, bye. Wow. I think I know where we have to go now. And after a quick shower and a nap, it was time to get going. Okay, before I hit the road, I actually need to get gas. But if you don't know, gas right now has been absolutely crazy. I honestly hope that getting gas won't bankrupt me today. And the reason why I'm trying to trade up to get a Tesla is because just like most people, I really can't afford gas these days. But with some help to make this massive trade possible, I began the eight hour drive to where I needed to be. Also, I was a little hungry, so I took a quick break. I have about another four hours left of driving and I was starving, so I wouldn't ahead and got me some Taco Bell. I went ahead and devoured all my food and watched some YouTube while I was at it. And then after that, it was time to get back on the road until I needed some more gas. Right now I'm refilling my car and I'm about five minutes out from my hotel. So I'll see you guys in the morning. And on day number four, a massive trade happened. Right now you're not gonna believe who I'm about to make the final trade in this video with. Um, yeah, you're just not gonna believe who it is actually because I can't- Hey, either. it's me. You ready to trade? Is that what I'm trading for? Yeah, it's a Hulkbuster arm. That's quite funny, because I think what I have here, you might actually like. What is it? It's a Hulkbuster. Oh, so that means I get a whole Hulkbuster instead of just an arm. Well, I just want the arm, so you can have the whole thing. All right, you wanna see how it works? Actually, yeah. So I went ahead and I followed Chris inside to this massive studio. And I'm not gonna lie, like this place is just amazing. It's the largest sound coast on the east. Coast. Sound coast. Said Colin and Samir or something. Wait, largest know. sound coast? You yeah, it's the largest sound coast. Yeah, I said what I said. Sound studio? I said what I said. Chris just said they definitely may have not been filming a video here at some point, so. Are you like breaking stuff today? It's oh. actually in my job description. They're like, hey, give me all your money, and you're like, hey. Get Hulk busted. Say, so if you're not a really big fan of whiteboards, I got no words right now because all Chris. <laughs> Let me help you so you know. Help me with what? I'm good. <laughs> all right. Uh, so yeah, it you is... definitely made a mess. Not gonna lie, and you broke some stuff. So it's kind of dangerous. But Jimmy paid ten thousand dollars for it, and uh, I'm pretty sure he would rather have an entire Hulkbuster. Oh, well, let me just show you this. Look. Yeah, I gotta see this. We were having trouble trying to get the Hulkbuster out of the box, so we decided to have some fun doing so. Got it. That's how you use monkey brain. No, that's teamwork. I almost high-fived you with this, but that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> and the trade value of the Hulkbuster arm for Mr. Beast made by Hacksmith, $10,000. We did a video with Hacksmith uh, for the Reacts channel. You can play it here if you'd like. Editor, AKA me, play it. <laughs> I called up Jimmy. I said, Jimmy, Emily wants to trade something. What can we trade her? And he said, you can have the Hacksmith Hulkbuster. He gave it to me. 
And now I'm making a trade because I think this looks really good in our new office that we're setting up. Thank you. You're very welcome. Jimmy, thank if you. you're watching this, thank you for this. This is awesome. Jimmy, if you're watching this, I demand more things to take and give away to people. But I'm glad we could trade and uh, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, Thanks nice for making you. the Thanks. drive. Thanks for calling me and telling me to come make a trade because like, this is massive. Yeah, and this is definitely actually the first time we've met. We definitely haven't been living together for two days and just- I, 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 I definitely have not actually been staying at a hotel. Yeah. 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 Lies.